Gareth Wheeler alongside Josh Cloak, the one soccer expert, Kurt Larson. They left it late, Valor did. Edmonton wasted a magnificent opportunity to take the full three points, instead gave them away. Let's take a look at how it played out late. 86th minute, oh no, Tommy Amiobi. Tommy Amiobi, Sammy, Shola, both would have buried that. Tommy, not so much. He can't believe it. Valor go the other way. Seppi's the cash man. You give him money for his goals, master casher. And the poignant celebration. And there's your game. Valor wins 2-1 the final, which means Edmonton stuck on one point. They haven't mathematically been eliminated. But let's be honest, with Valor now on seven points, with York 9 on six, and a group of teams, Pacific, Halifax, Atletico Ottawa on five, they're going to pick up points. So this is Edmonton's tournament. They are done and dusted. Let's start with FC Edmonton because we're, they are going to be the first team. I'm going to play Jeff Probst here. You, you, you snuff out their tor tiki torch. They're done. They're out. Um, that shouldn't be in the case. Amiobi has to finish that chance, Josh. Finishing. Finishing. How many times have I said on the show the difference between the good teams and the so-so teams are the ones that finish their chances, that take advantage of those opportunities when they get close to goal. That's what I was talking about in the pregame show, the importance of working that ball, being patient with it, and getting it into those optimal positions. If Edmonton finishes that, we're, we're talking about a completely different Edmonton team that maybe yep. can possibly get in there, and then we see a Valor side, just smash a goal that, to me, that's, that's one of the strikes of the tournament. Yeah, so, great ag again, this is what we're talking about. Teams that have finishers will go deep. Yeah, I mean, I think we'd all agree that there, there isn't much separating Valor and FC Edmonton. I do think Valor is no. a better side. Personally, I do. You know that I've been vocal about my thoughts on Valor throughout oh, the you? tournament. Um, but when you're FC Edmonton, I agree with you. You're going to look back on what I would call the little moments that let you down throughout this tournament, whether it's Zetterberg giving away the pass early against Ottawa, basically puts, you know, that game's put to bed so early. Um, Amiobi missing a penalty kick in another game, you know, that, that, that turns things around for them. The PK tonight is saved by James. Nobody's there to follow up and clean it up and defend it. These are those little moments that when you're not a great team, you have to win those little moments to win games. And if you're Edmonton, you're all the more frustrated because I don't think Valor looked that good in the first half. I actually thought they looked really slow. They didn't have that urgency that, you know, you would have expected from them in, sorry, another must-win yeah. game for them. So, again, if you're, if you're Edmonton, it's kind of become their story of the tournament, right? Missed chances because without, you know, boring you with the numbers, they have been unlucky, right? They, they've gotten the chances, they just haven't finished them. And I think if you're Jeff Paulus and you're already looking forward to next year, which by now he kind of has to, you're asking questions about who can I get in that nine sure. position to be dependable and start finishing these chances? Well, it was supposed to be Easton on Ongar Garo. And before we turn to Valor, I mean, he scored a wonderful goal yep. here today. And that's what you expect from Ongaro over the course of this tournament. But you just saw it in bits and pieces from him. Bits and pieces from Aliman. Bits and pieces from Boakai. These were the players that were supposed to turn around this team. And look, they lost Dran Lee in this game. No Amir Didich. Their back line has kind of been in a little bit of flux. So they've been kind of fighting against it over the course of this tournament but you got to ask yourself who do you build around if you're Jeff Paulus and FC Edmonton from this tournament and perhaps in these final two games we see much more of the younger players who are supposed to be the next generation of Eddies. Maybe I, I, I think they're okay at the back I think they're good enough at the back I like Zetterberg in midfield he's had an up and down tournament we talked about his egregious turnover earlier but he's also completed a high number of passes and uh, I quite like the player. Um, going forward for me, you mentioned Aleman and Boakai. It just seemed like a group that was kind of thrown together last minute just to fill out the numbers, get a few pieces in. I think those guys individually are good players. I don't know if they connected well going forward in this tournament. Um, and then going to Ngaro, I challenged him coming into this season. Can you raise your level? Can you raise your compete level and show when the ball turns over, you're frustrated? Can you show some emotion for me, right? He does well to get on the end of that header, but I want to see that raw emotion throughout the game where he wants to be involved in every play and really seek out the attack going forward. I don't see that from him. I don't see him wanting to be a right. focal point. Maybe we can show that goal because this is it's what he's all goal. about. It's an yeah. outstanding goal in Tariq Muhammad coming off a suspension. Whip this ball in. Like, that is an unbelievable service and a great finish as well. That's what you want to see more of if you're Jeff Paulus. And 
What I love about this goal is it's so decisive. The cross comes in super quickly. Ungaro takes advantage of a ball that comes in and kind of catches Valor off guard. That's that kind of quick thinking yeah. that they're going to need in their finishers. But again, I think if you're Jeff Paulus, maybe you go back to the drawing board, right? Like maybe you go back and you say, what worked, what didn't. And you know, you're talking about emotion, which is a, it's, it's valid, but it's a slippery slope, right? Because we saw FC Edmonton players kind of showing emotion in a, a negative manner, right? The previous yeah, game. Yeah, it's gotta be the right emotion. Right, yeah. but, but, but that's kind of what I mean, right? Is, is you, you want emotion, but there has to be a balance there because we've seen that emotion hurt Edmonton.